Good morning, everybody. And uh, again, I thank you for being here, too. This is very, very important to us. And although I have the privilege of standing before you as the, uh, the guy in charge of the program, I have to tell you that uh, none of it would be possible without the team uh, that I'm very fortunate to work with here at Housatonic Community College. And I consider it a privilege uh, to have that honor. Um, we have made tremendous strides um, with the Advanced Manufacturing Program this year, um, with many more uh, planned for the future. Um, you've heard a number of things about our progress so far, uh, but there's a bigger picture to all of this that I think um, we all need to keep in mind, as it really does. Uh, it, it's designed to be in, in support of manufacturing, but what it does to touch our community uh, is sometimes underestimated and maybe un not understood clearly. The collaboratives that we're building as a result of the work that we're able to do and the promotional work that you've done to raise awareness of manufacturing has to continue to go. We need our parents, we need our young children, we need our grandchildren, their cousins, aunts, uncles, and everybody to understand that, as Mayor Finch pointed out, manufacturing is no longer dark, dingy, and dangerous. Technology today is what manufacturing is all about. Our young people are so comfortable with technology that manufacturing is a natural path for them. The advanced manufacturing program, as Dr. Brody noted, okay, is a fast track to changing lives. Nine months, people can come to work. But it won't stop there either because the college is set up now so that we can bring them back as incumbent workers to continue to improve their skill sets in manufacturing as they learn a little bit more of what manufacturing is all about and the different career paths within manufacturing they can experience as well. I mean, people often come to the program and assume that they'll be looking at a machine and, and that's going to be my job. Well, my job is going to pay me 15 bucks an hour to run a machine. But that's not it. That's only the start of it. Because within manufacturing alone, there are so many opportunities to do other things, such as you know, quality control, engineering, um, you know, technicians of every nature. Where are people going to be? Uh, the people who know the product best are the people who can help sell for the company and market product and help grow. On and on and on. Um, so, so there are many, many things that are beyond just what we're doing at this advanced manufacturing. And to that point, what we're asking people to do now, with all the support that we have in Bridgeport, is not only to focus on the advanced manufacturing, but focus on Housatonic Community College as a resource center, as a resource center in support of manufacturing and all the other things that we can do to grow enrollment in this program that are tied to those other career paths around manufacturing. Um, I think that's, that's something that's absolutely going to happen for a couple of reasons. Take a look at what we did this year. Dr. Brody quoted um, 37 people graduated from the program. Um, of those 37, 35 are working. But I think as of today, it'll probably be 36. And, in fact, of the 40 people who enrolled in our program, there is one, as we speak, finishing his certificate now. So it will be 38 that graduate. Okay? And we're continuing to do that. So that puts us at about 97%, Gene. You're our statistician. 97.2 percent. All right. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. But who's counting? Yeah. So thank you very much. Um, and again, that does not happen in a vacuum. It happens with a plan and it happens with team building and, and the support that we get from our manufacturing community. OK. Our goal is to have a waiting list of students to come into this program. And I think we're going to approach and reach that goal uh, quicker than most would have thought this year we are on track to have 50 full-time students um, in our program, enrolled in our certificate program. Two cohorts during the day, 25 people in each cohort. Now, our people are a great mix. Um, we heard some of the success stories that Dr. Brody noted. Uh, the average age in our program is about 30 to 35 years old. We have a great mix of people coming in from high school and people looking for a second chance in life to improve what it is that they've done. Um, that mix is amazing when you start to build these teams and you take some of us older people with some of the younger people who are very comfortable with technology, um, put them together, build teams, and watch them grow together. 
uh, good things happen, and we'll continue to do that. So just think of it this way. 38 that we graduate this year, okay? That was a, a great uh, improvement from the year prior to that. This year, let's set 50 as our goal in the certificate program. Now let's think about what we're doing outside of that. We have another 15 students that we'll be introducing to our program, juniors from Massac High here in Bridgeport, who will start in this program as juniors, work to complete this program by the end of their senior year, earning dual credit as they do that, so that the time, by the time they graduate high school, they'll have earned half the certificate or 18 credits toward the Advanced Manufacturing Technology Certificate. That's huge for us. That's huge and it's only the start. Okay, so remember, 50 that we enroll in the program, 15 that we have in College Connections. Let's take a look at what else we have going on. Incumbent worker training. Last year we had 39 people that we served from area manufacturers who took part in, in training outside of the work that they were doing, okay? This year, we're gonna set our mark at 40, and we're gonna see through programs that we have and other funding that we have available through our partners at the workplace, through our partners at the Department of Labor, through our partners at the DECD, to improve awareness and, and the opportunities to bring more of those folks in. And we're not done yet. One more thing that we have to look at. We have the apprenticeship model, and we have some really good things uh, that are going on right now from the Department of Labor. Uh, and in fact, the apprenticeship office of the Department of Labor and Housatana Community College have recently signed uh, a partnership so that the Department of Labor will be referring students who are registered apprentices back to Housatana Community College for their classroom related training that's going to increase um, our opportunities for enrollment in the program as well. And uh, I know that I'm forgetting about one other group that's pretty important. Ah, yes. Through our awareness campaign and registration process, uh, we're coming across numbers of people who are interested in the program, but who have to work to put food on their tables and would like to come here part time. As of yesterday, we have 18 people who have expressed a very sincere interest in, in a part-time program startup. Our goal will be to start up a part-time program in January once we have 20 people. So very quickly, we can at least double, if not triple, the enrollment in this program this year. And I thank you all very, very much for the support. I think the, the Hall of Fame, the awareness, certainly what we generate in terms of scholarships helps us build collaborative and keep this program going. And I thank you very, very much again for that.